Well, if you've ever visited me in my office, you've no doubt noticed this painting which adorns one of the walls. Uh, this is a Renaissance painting by the Flemish artist Hans Holbein the Younger. I know you're always getting him confused with Hans Holbein the Elder. It's a common mistake. Uh, but this painting was painted in 1533. And I'm fond of it for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, I, I first saw it in the National Portrait Gallery in London and thought I'd love to have a reproduction of that. And it was given to me as a gift some years later. But uh, the other reason I'm fond of it is it's a very nice painting. I, it's aesthetically pleasing, but also because of the title of it. It's called The Ambassadors. And you can see here depicted two ambassadors from France to the English court. And it's a constant reminder to me when I look up at it dozens of times a day of what the Apostle Paul says in his second letter to the Corinthians, that we are ambassadors for Christ, calling people to repentance and relationship with Christ. So I love this constant reminder that I have that I am to be an ambassador for Christ. There's one other thing that I like about this painting, and you have to look at it carefully to notice it. At the bottom, there is what appears to be a sort of splotch of paint or something spilled or a tear, but it's not that at all. It's, it's put there quite intentionally, and if you actually look at it from the side, you can begin to make out what it is. It's actually a skull, an anamorphic skull, and this is what art historians would call a memento mori, a Latin phrase which means remember that you will die. This is something that you often see in Renaissance art, a, a remembrance for all of us that we are mortal and that someday we will die. But it's a helpful remembrance for a Christian as well, and we'll be talking about this in our services tomorrow in our Gospel First series as we talk about death, death entering the world through one man's sin, namely Adam, and the fall, which has affected everything in our world uh, to this day. And so we have all around us, we don't need to see it in art, we have all around us remembrances that we will one day die. And yet that's not for the Christian the end of the story. We know that because of the death and resurrection of one man, the new and perfect Adam, Jesus Christ, we can be reconciled to God. And so we can have new life in him. So the good news is that while we have memento moris all around us in our world, we as Christians can be confident in knowing that we will live eternally with him. Isn't that wonderful news for today? God bless.